Peace and love, family. How to activate the Kundalini. How to have a Kundalini awakening. Let's answer that question right now. How do I move that cerebral spinal fluid up from the base of my spine to the pineal gland and boom, have that explosion of inner white light, right? And all types of inner experiences, right? <clears throat> and go start traveling in the inner world slash the higher worlds, higher realms, higher dimensions, inner dimensions or whatever, right? How do we do that? You're gonna hate my answer, right? Broken record time. Twin hearts meditation. Twin hearts meditation activates the Kundalini. Now let's talk about that, right? So activates the Kundalini, right? Goes up. <coughs> when that happens, <laughs> when that happens, now you have bigger chakras, bigger aura, and let's talk about Unfortunately, what comes to happen to a lot of spiritual disciples and, you know, and uh, spiritual practitioners, the fall, please avoid the fall, right? One of the last things the soul has to learn on its way out, you know, hold on, buddy, is negative pride, right? As you start to activate and awaken the Kundalini, you know, your aura and chakras are a lot more powerful and stronger and bigger and brighter and healthier and purified than a normal person, hey, say hi, Deacon. And you're able to produce miracles left and right, you know? You're a pranic healer now, you're starting to heal, you know? People look at you like, hey, oh my God, you know? They look at you like a walking, you know, prophet a little bit, they put you on a pedestal, you know, possibly, and that could activate the ego in some, you know? It does, and it can get to your head, right? Because when you activate the Kundalini, all this divine spiritual energy you're carrying around, boom. It's like fertilizer. Unfortunately, it fertilizes all the good seeds in you and all the bad seeds. So whatever you got going on in your chakras, everything's magnified. So just be careful and don't let that ego get to your head when you start going around healing people and doing all this stuff and able to produce miracles left and right. So beware of the fall. Don't let that negative pride get to your ego. It's all God, right? This divine spiritual energy is flowing through us. We're just the channels to help heal and bless, right? It's all God energy flowing through us, right? We're just nothing but the channel, the instrument. All right, love y'all, family. Peace.